Hi Sagittarius, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. I am hearing something about calling your bluff. Now, I don't know why I'm hearing that. So I don't know if you're calling someone else's bluff or someone is going to be calling your bluff. All right. So let's see what comes out for the sign of Sagittarius. I heard bewilderness. Bewilderness, bewildered. All right, most important message is a sign of Sag. Extensive. Someone may have an extensive background. Most important message is for the sign of Sagittarius. Going, okay, I don't know, going beyond something. So we have the Six of Swords, and we that is going beyond something. You're moving around, uh, leaving a situation, going into common waters, right? The five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's a lack thereof, poverty mindset, or something like that. The nine of pentacles. So someone could have felt like they lost a bit, lost a bit. We on Sagittarius, right? Someone could have walked away from a relationship. Could have been a Taurus. More messages. Someone had the guts or the audacity. So we have the, mm, mm, someone is going to be calling someone's bluff. We have the Ace of Swords right next to the Six of Swords. That Seven of Swords type of energy. Someone was trying to get away with something, but someone's moving right towards the truth. Mm. I don't know who's trying to keep something hidden, but it's back to, it, it will be exposed. We have the Ten of Pentacles and then the Lovers card. So maybe it's someone's feelings, emotions towards another person. Someone's been hung up. Can I get more messages, though? Someone may be making some type of movement towards another person. More messages for the sign of Sag. And there you go. So we have the temperance card coming out. Patient. Patient. You've been patiently waiting for this truth to come out. And now it's about to be exposed. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Cups. Slow motion, but for, but for show motion. You already knew the truth was going to be exposed. You knew that something was off or someone didn't see something that you felt like should have been exposed or should have been seen or something like that. Uh, can I get more? Sagittarius, please and thank you. Hung up. So someone feels trapped or caught calling another person's bluff or them calling your bluff, however it is. The Six of Wands energy and then we have the Six of Cups. Success, victory after a battle and then we have the past or children. Someone successfully becomes pregnant or someone becomes successful after dealing with something from the past. Four of Swords healing. Can I get more? What's the Six of Swords energy? Put on my energy. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Someone dealt with a lot of worry, doubt, depression. And I feel like you're finally coming out of that energy. It was a point in time that you couldn't see the light of a situation. You couldn't see happy days. Or you feel like there were no happy days available see you anymore that's crazy but um i feel like renewed hope and faith is coming towards you i don't see the card the star card no it's not out out here but at one point in time you was holding on to some type of dark energy resentment i'm hearing bewilder bewilderedness again why do i feel like that's not the word it's bewildered but someone could have been feeling like they were, they were out in the wilderness <laughs> someone that were out there in the wilderness or something like that can i get more but now you're moving on. What's the Ace of Swords? Because some type of truth or Five of Swords. Now I'm saying hearing like contraption, contraption, contraption. At all calls. So it was something to set up? Contraption? So the Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, truth and clarity, someone did what they had to do in order to receive the truth. There's a lot of thinking going on. Someone was also dealing with a lot of hurt, heartbreaking power. I already said that though. Depression and stuff like that. But it was some someone was heartbroken or something like that. Don't take my love away from me. I don't need you. I'm hearing that, but it's not, you know, that's the song that I'm hearing. Someone was really heart heartbroken and tied up feeling some type of way what's the temperance card let's move on wow you have had to deal with a lot of ish so betrayal after betrayal painful cycles the ace of pentacles but you're being presented with a new opportunity a new a gift here for for better days ahead type of energy so something changes something shifts but it's, you have to okay this is about having a new perspective Regaining balance as well. What's the hanging man? 
what's the hanging man we have the empress card divine feminine energy so this is someone dealing with it god dog on it here we are i just came out of scorpio energy i don't mean to do this but i swear i think each my read each of my readings are actually part of a collective reading yes it's on signs but it, the signs really doesn't matter to a certain extent i believe it's about the messages that come through chills so here we go we have the empress card on top of the um height the hanging man this is about dealing with some type of um healing process dealing with the feminine aspect of life so when i was just in taurus's energy notes not taurus scorpio's energy i believe it was something with their them them i didn't say it but it's coming to me now them dealing with a masculine aspect that needs to be dealt with like a toxic masculine energy this it may have been like a i want it's like a maybe a toxic feminine energy that needs to be dealt with so maybe someone was less expressive or didn't know how to express their emotions at all overly expressive with their emotions or disconnecting from emotions and not using your intuition not knowing how to tap into your intuition being lovey-dovey and nurturing and stuff like that disconnected from that type of energy you get what i mean and i feel like this is someone's reality check on like nurturing mothering type of energy abundance fertility that type of energy value knowing your words receiving what it is that you deserve love contentment peace that type of energy here and coming out of um scorpio energy i feel like i need to go and reiterate but i can't do it i'm gonna have to do a whole nother reading and then here you are with the balance between the two with the temperance card we got to bring in some balance here right i'm hearing something about a cautionary tale we are one we are two of the one remember two of the one so just part of the one two parts of the one that's what i want to say so the empress card someone is reflecting on that energy there the, the being the feminine being well taken care of, and all the other stuff that could that comes with that there's someone's um, um getting more connected so, to, towards that energy after having to someone was deflecting so i want some after having to deal with these um betrayals because you didn't want to deal with them now it's all in your face it was a lot of stuff that was you that were going on and you um you continue to do things to keep you not focused on what was truly going on so the only way to get a rent the only way you have to get you have to go through this energy i can't quite get this in right now but uh on the way around it is through it there it is i think that's what the saying is on the way around it is through it so what is the empress card can i get more on the empress card the chariot card controlling your um yeah taking the reins of your life and just moving forward what the hell well that is crazy i cannot make this up that is not the card that, that flipped over and the ace of pentacles just came out wait <laughs> that's not the card that I, that I had but anyways i'm gonna put that back in the deck it's the chariot card moving forward full motion taking control of your life this is someone reflecting on the fact that they want to take, take be in control of their life be more in control of their lives allowing things to be in flow ten of pentacles to the lover's card someone's thinking about something more long term making better choices for the long term protecting your peace protecting yourself your creations your manifestations thing that you want to attract into your life creating boundaries so that you can do that what is the chariot card can't change the transformation scorpio i was just talking about scorpio and she wasn't that so we have the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and um four of cups following your intuition about what it is that you've been accepting in your life and what it is that you want to create knowing what it, knowing where you what it is that you are knowing where you are so that you can get to where you want to be can i get more on a death card success guess what that's being cleared out though we have the six of wands in reverse this energy of I want to say I heard, I'm hearing the word part. I'm hearing hearing the phrase false hope, but it's friends around you, friends and family members, people who give it that fake support. It's fake support. Bam, fake support, fake support. And I think this is you reflecting on all of those people who weren't really for you, but they sure was in your life though. They were rooting for you. 
for all the negative stuff that you had going on that was dealt with you. But now that you're ready to turn and change, um, um, to uh, go through the changes and move forward, you're seeing the truth and reality of life and stuff like that, or you're just seeing it differently. You have a whole new perception or perspective here. Now you realize, no, that, 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 that's like fake love. Or I don't need that attention from you. What's the nine of swords in reverse over there? I'm hearing that song, Deeds. They ain't loyal. Uh, so we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn towards Virgo energy, and then we have the uh, new beginning, leap of faith, taking a leap of faith away from that energy, feeling sorry and carrying the burdens of that energy instead of allowing that chapter to close. But I feel like someone is going to allow that chapter. To, you haven't been getting what you deserve because someone didn't know their value, holding on to something. But anyways, um, yeah, it was, we start off or you were in a situation where it was all about the money. You didn't care like who got hurt. You didn't care about being hurt. But if it, if, if you felt financially secure, you were good. But then it seemed like now it's coming to a point where you realize like all of that didn't really matter. Yes, I want to be comfortable. I want to be good. But it's something that's more to life. That's what I'm kind of getting here, to be honest. Also, it's a situation where, yeah, someone putting up, putting, putting up with something, dealing with some things because of some type of security financial stability can i get some advice here for sagittarius please and thank you we have the knight of swords which is communication speaking your truth being honest taking some type of action so this is like learning to create once again learning to create some type of balance or gaining control or having to deal with a lot of things at once but being confident that wow oh actually yeah being confident that what you've invested into will help create that shift that you're looking for yes things will be falling out and and changing around you but it seems like that's something that you expect well tower moments have, have already happened so you have have already happened so you like what else can happen what's what's the worst that can happen type of energy what's the knight of swords the three of cups i see a re reconciliation connection maybe to someone who you have feelings for or a soulmate connection with Someone who's feeling sorry, you feeling sorry over them, them feeling sorry over you. Someone feeling like they messed up, and it's about a connection here. The Hermit card, then we have the Sun card, Virgo, um, Leo energy, and then we have Cancer or Pisces with the Moon card. But yeah, yeah, secretly someone's missing something or someone, a lack thereof energy has taken place, and it's time to do something differently in order to receive what you want. We're going to move on. Because I feel like I'll just be rambling if I keep going. Can I get an important message for the sign of Scorpio? Sag, excuse me, well, I apologize. Most important messages for the sign of Sag is Harriet's please and thank you. Most important message for the sign of Sag is Harriet's please and thank you. 444 as I look up at the time. Most important message for the sign of Sag is Harriet's. Oh, no, 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 no. I just want one in Artemis and Gula, but I mean, you know, it's a mama culture. Can I get one card? One or two? And one. Most important message for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you, Sagittarius. Somebody else received this too. Nike, either Taurus or Scorpio. Brown one at the bottom of the deck for giving a sacred reunion. No. Yes, sacred unity in reverse underneath there. And then Sun Yi. Let's move forward and read this. Number 39. Nike says the Greek goddess Nike asks you to be present in the beauty of and richness discovered in your life so far. You have come this distance, so what are your wins? Celebrating them is key right now to enable you to co-create even more. You live in a world where you may have felt that you were not allowed to celebrate your victories lest you be cut down for being self-centered. Perhaps you were raised in a family that discouraged you from shining in an authentic way. Being successful at the game of life requires you to refuse the message that you are too much or not enough. Your biggest win is to be yourself, accepting yourself exactly as you are, releasing the idea that you are flawed in any way and expressing yourself with authenticity. This is the true power of the victory goddess Nike expressed through you. The goddess Nike has another message to share. To share. If you've been struggling to move to the next level of your life, working hard and putting the time and effort in, you will soon find you will soon find you are finally winning. Your determination and commitment to your intentions are manifesting in your life with beautiful result, results. When you are winning, the world wins too. Just remember to share your bounty. Let's read number seven. Forgiveness. 
and I'm clo closing this out. Sometimes life invites us into conditions that challenge us to the core. As the Celtic goddess Bronwyn forgave those who caused her own death by a broken heart, she asked you to be to set yourself free from the seeds of resentment that will surely choke the life out of your dreams. We are wounded by others and weave stories about our hurts and losses that live in our hearts and minds. We come to distrust the potential of love and connection. No matter what your story is or when it began, forgiveness is the key to freedom here. Forgiveness allows for mending and repair, opening the heart to give and receive. If you need to forgive your, yourself or others, now is the time to do it. Keep your heart open and you can begin again. Only beauty, freedom, and treasures are found in the spirit of forgiveness. The goddess Bronwyn is here to support you. So Sagittarius, that was your reading and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you all want more information on your situation, go ahead and book a personal reading. If not, catch me in the next one.